In this video, we are going to talk about the artificial satellite. What is it? How it works? So we are going to talk all about it. So stay tuned. Let's start. What is an artificial satellite? Okay, let's answer this question. Artificial satellites are intentionally placed in orbit. In the context of this flight, a satellite is an object that has been intentionally placed into orbit. These objects are called artificial satellites to distinguish them from natural satellites such as Earth's moon. Okay, now let's talk about that, how these artificial satellites are launched. This is a two-step process. First, the satellite has to be taken to the desired altitude. Then, it has to be pushed off at the right momentum to begin and maintain its orbit. A rocket burns fuel called propellant to push away from Earth and against gravity. This creates a force called thrust. The rocket also contains several booster rockets. Now, let's talk about the types of satellite orbit. There are three types of orbit depending on the altitude. Low Earth Orbit, Medium Earth Orbit, Geosynchronized Orbit and Geostationary Earth Orbit. Low Earth Orbit satellites operates at a distance of about 160 km to 2000 km above the Earth's surface. It takes approximately 90 to 128 minutes to circle the Earth. Low Earth Orbit requires the lowest amount of energy for satellite placement. It provides high bandwidth and low communication latency. It is used for the satellites of weather forecasting, Earth observation, geographic surveying, etc. It is also the orbit used for the International Space Station as it is easier for astronauts to travel to and from it at a shorter distance. Unlike geosynchronous satellite about which we will talk a little bit later, satellites in Leo have a small field of view and so can observe and communicate with only a fraction of the Earth at a time. Before talking about the geosynchronous orbit, let's talk about the medium Earth orbit. For navigation applications such as GPS, MEO is the wise option, even though the LEO is the closest to the Earth. Satellites in this orbit revolve at a very high speed. Due to this, receivers on the Earth fail to carry out the navigation calculations accurately. Moreover, LEO needs a lot of satellites to cover the entire Earth, thus GPS satellites use MEO. In a typical GPS system, 24 satellites can cover the entire Earth. Medium Earth orbit is the region of space around the Earth above the low Earth orbit and below the geosynchronous orbit. It is similar to LEO in that it also doesn't need to take specific paths around the Earth and it is used by a variety of satellites with many different applications. A medium Earth orbit is an Earth-centered orbit with an altitude between 2000 km and 35,786 km above sea level. The orbital periods of medium Earth orbit satellites range from 2 to 6 hours. Now let's talk about the geosynchronous orbit and geostationary orbit. In the case of broadcasting geostation, satellites in the geosynchronous orbit are at a height of 35,786 km. The satellite takes exactly 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds to complete one rotation. A special case of geosynchronous orbit is the geostationary orbit, which is a circular geosynchronous orbit in the Earth's equatorial plane. These satellites remain stationary to the Earth. Due to this, geostationary satellites are the ideal choice for television broadcasting. Since it means you don't have to adjust the angle of your satellite dish again and again, this is the reason why this geostationary belt is so crowded with satellites. It is managed by an international organization called ITU. There is a region in space called Van Allen Belt. A region is full of highly energetic charged particles which can damage the electronic section of a satellite. Generally, it is preferred not to park satellites in the Van Allen Belt. The position of the satellite is continuously monitored from an Earth station. Apart from the position controls, the Earth station also monitors the satellite's health and its speed. Satellite communication consists of three main components, uplink, satellite transponder, downlink. An uplink transponder or other ground equipment transmits the desired signal to the satellite. 
The satellite transponder amplifies the incoming signal and changes the frequency. The satellite transponder transmits the signal back to the downlink earth station and the ground equipment receives the signal. Satellite communication uses the ground stations to send and receive microwave signals between artificial satellites which are in orbit around the Earth. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.